it's Danielle and today we're in the lab again. I have a question for you. Have you ever been doing some baking with mum or dad and then you end up being just one ingredient short? That's happened to me and my mum a few times. We've either been one egg short or even the other day we were making dinner and we had run out of oil and we didn't realize. So we had to go and ask the neighbor to come and bring some oil for us. It was an absolute mess, but we did get our meal in the end. Speaking of oil, it kind of makes me think about today's Bible story. We have a great miracle that we're diving in today. Should we have a look? I think you are really going to like this one. This one is called Jars of Oil. Elisha helped many people. One day, he met a woman. She was very upset. She said, please help me. I owe a man some money. If I do not pay him, the woman said, he will make my sons become his slaves. Elisha asked her, do you own anything? And she said, I have a little oil. Elisha said, gather some empty jars from your friends, then go inside and pour your oil into them. The woman obeyed and God made her tiny bit of oil fill all the jars. She sold all the oil and paid the man back. She took care of her family with the leftover money. Isn't that an amazing miracle? I think it's so cool that God took the little that that woman had and managed to multiply it so that she made enough money to pay back the money that she owed, but also to support her family and her sons afterwards. God's a pretty amazing God, isn't he? He is the God of the impossible. In fact, I believe that God can do anything. Can you repeat that after me? I believe God can do anything. Great job. One more time. I believe God can do anything. That's right. God is the God of the impossible. And I believe that because we follow the God of miracles, that he really, truly can do anything. Should we pray? Why don't you bow your heads and close your eyes? Lord God, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for all of these little people listening to this message, Jesus. I pray that you would be with us. And I thank you so much that you are the God of miracles and that you can do anything. I pray, Lord, that you would remind us of that in moments when we ourselves need miracles. We choose to follow you today. We love you, Lord. In your name. And everyone said, Amen. See you guys next time.